Welcome back to How to Create a Chiropractic Website with Dr. Paul. And we are in the WordPress dashboard here. And we're looking at a panel called Plugins. So specifically what we want to do is look at the options. Look how many plugins are available. And remember, plugins are snippets of additional code that you can bring in and add to your website to increase its functionality. So let's go ahead and just look at what some of the popular ones are. So we just went to Add New. And so we can see out of the 421 pages here. Let's come back to search for just a second. And we have what's called a word cloud. So these, these are the different plugins that are available. And the size of the word uh, references how many are available and the popularity of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the popular ones. And some of them that are standard. So you can see here WordPress statistics is a standard one. A, this is another standard good one, Contact Form 7. Essentially it's a plugin that you can, uh, uh, somebody would uh, essentially fill out their name and email, hit send, and it would come right to you. It's like an automated email, right, that you place right on your site. All in one SEO pack. So a lot of these are self-explanatory. And if you don't know, all you have to do, and you can see up here you have the options the ones that are featured, the ones that are popular, the ones that are newest or recently dated. So all you have to do is read through them here and to get information just hit the details and it will give you the information on that particular plugin what it does and right over here you can go to the plugins home page and it will give you further information of exactly what it does. Now one of the little ways that you can see whether it's a valuable plugin or not yeah, is how popular it is. You can see this plugin has been downloaded five million over five million times. So when you come into some of these other plugins, you can get an idea of how popular. Now we're already on the popular list anyway, but when you want to compare, like let's give you an example. Let's go into search, and let's say we're going to look for a plugin for, um, let's say video, we want a video plugin, so a plugin that would allow us to play videos on our site. So now we have these video plugins, so not only am I going to look at the rating of the plugin, but I'll look at the, uh, I'll read the synopsis of what it does, but also how many times it has been downloaded relative to the other plugins that are here. So I'll be paying attention to that. That'll kind of give me an idea. So here you can see 570,000 times. And again, you can just go to the plugins home site right there. All right. And then the other consideration that you want to keep up with is, um, is, is it compatible with that version of WordPress? So make sure that you're using uh, you want to, every time the newer versions of WordPress come out, you definitely want to update. I generally do not recommend using the beta testing sites, but after they're past the, um, the beta test, I do recommend immediately updating. And then make sure that that particular plugin is compatible with your site, okay? So this is how you can look and see which plugins you want to add. And we will give you a laundry list of some of the basic ones. But there's, as you can see, there's over 400 pages total of plugins. So there's quite a few thousands of plugins out there. Okay. So this gives you an idea of plugins. Let me give you one more here. Let's say we put an audio. Let's say we wanted an audio so we can play like MP3 on our site. So we would just hit an audio, hit search, and then we would have come up with the various plugins. Uh, audio player, etc. And again, I would look for the same thing. I would look at the ratings. I would look at the details. I'd look at how many of how many of them are being downloaded versus other ones. Is it compatible? And then look at the look at the benefits of it. Does it resonate? I can check the home page. So these are some ways to quickly decipher whether or not it is a plugin. So out of these audio plugins. That's what I would do. I would just evaluate them all like that, and that would tell me which plugin. And it's real easy when you go to the plugins. 
after you activate it, it's really easy to deactivate it or delete it. Like this is a default plugin that comes with WordPress. We never did activate it. And let me go ahead and activate it here just to show you. And then let me come back in. We're just going to deactivate it. And after we deactivate it, so it's not, not functional anymore on the site, I know only want to deactivate it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Okay. And that says yes. And there we are. That plugin is gone. So that's how easy plugins can be installed or deleted and activated. All right. This is Dr. Paul with how to create your chiropractic website. You take care.